and my father. So boy, do I have an interesting clip for you. So the hosts on The View were talking about an interview that Dr. Anthony Fauci did with CNN's Dana Bash. And in this interview, the particular clip that they were talking about, um, he was asked whether or not he believes we're still going to be seeing Americans wearing masks into 2022. Now, of course, he couldn't answer that question. I don't think that you can make that prediction at the beginning of 2021 when we're only now rolling out the vaccine. I think that if they could tell us that that would be likely, they would. But I mean, he basically didn't give us a definitive answer. Meghan McCain did not like what he had to say. She then went on some bizarre anti-Dr. Anthony Fauci rant, and then she ended up revealing how entitled she is as a person. Take a look. Uh, really quickly, I just wanted to show a clip of Dana Bash talking to Dr. Fauci this weekend. My parents have already gotten their second dose. They're fully vaccinated. Does that mean it's okay for them to spend time with their grandchildren who obviously have not been vaccinated? What's your recommendation? You know, I, I'm not going to make a recommendation now except to say that these are things that we really do. I mean, literally every day, Dano, we look at that. We look at the data. We look at what's evolving about how many people are getting vaccinated. And there will be recommendations coming out. I don't want to be making a recommendation now on public TV. I want to sit down with the team, take a look at that. So I was very frustrated when I saw this clip. I, I first and foremost want to say that I, I respect the great tragedy and all the pain that has come of our handling of the coronavirus. And there are 500,000 Americans that don't have family members. And it's horrific and very sad. And the grief that our country is going through should not be downplayed. That being said, we are I, next week it will be a year since we left studio. And I have been very responsible in many different ways, as so many Americans have been. And the fact that Dr. Fauci is going on CNN and he, he can't tell me that if I get the vaccine, if I'll be able to have dinner with my family or dinner with, I mean, I don't have any grandparents left, but, it, you know, it, older people, if I can go to, to dinner at, at friends' houses who are older, it's, it's terribly inconsistent messaging and it continues to be inconsistent messaging. In Israel, in Tel Aviv, one of the messages that they have, I saw a sign that said, get a shot, take a shot. Meaning if I get the vaccine, then I can go out and I can have shots with my friends. Is the science in Israel different than the science here in the United States of America? Because Israel has over half of their country vaccinated already and seem to be doing pretty well. The idea that I can get vaccinated and I won't be able to see friends and nothing in life changes and that we're going to have to wear masks forever. I, I, I don't understand the downplaying of getting the vaccine because right now we should be wanting as many Americans as possible to get a vaccine. The fact that I, Megan McCain, co host of The View. Uh, do, I don't know when or how I will be able to get a vaccine because the rollout for my age range and, and my health is, is so nebulous. I have no idea when and how I can get it. I want to get it. If you call me at three o'clock in the morning, I will go any place at any time to get it. I want to be responsible and obviously wait my turn. But this rollout has been a disaster. And I understand, obviously, President Trump can take much of the blame. But now we're in the Biden administration. I, for one, would like something to look forward to and to hope for, because if getting the vaccine means that just nothing changes and we have to wait another few years till everyone gets it. It, it, it there's already a lot of people not getting it we're already have a pro having a messaging problem getting people to take this vaccine so i i'm over dr fauci i think we need to have more people giving more opinions and i i honestly quite frankly i think the biden administration should should remove him and put someone else in place that maybe does understand science or can talk to other countries about how we can be more like these places that are doing this successfully that was very interesting to me. <laughs> On one hand, I get the frustration. I feel what she feels. I get it. We all want the vaccine. We all want to return to normal. But to me, it sounds like she just wants someone to replace Dr. Anthony Fauci, who is going to tell her what she wants to hear. But I mean, science doesn't work that way. His job is not to make us feel better. His job is to give us the science, the data, the evidence that he has. And sometimes that isn't necessarily going to be pleasant information. Sometimes, you know, he's going to be a little bit more conservative than other scientists. But I'd rather him be real and realistic than just like make me feel good. Like I want the truth. I can handle it. I'm an adult. Uh, so, I mean, look, I, I do get the frustration. And real quick, I'm just going to stop and uh, I'm going to reach out to her and I'm going to tweet to her that I understand her frustration. 
but she needs to not be so narcissistic. So I'm coming from a place of understanding and I'm blocked. Never mind. Looks like I can't reach out to her. I figured by now she would have unblocked me and she'd be over our previous beef. I don't even remember why I got blocked in the first place, but nonetheless, I, I get where she's coming from, okay? And let me just say that I am pleasantly surprised that Meghan McCain, of all people, a Republican, isn't actually trying to spread misinformation about the vaccine. She's saying, I want to take the vaccine, and presumably she's going to be encouraging the views viewers to take the vaccine as well. Like, to have a better stance as a Republican than Joe Rogan even, I have to give you credit where it's due. I applaud you for that, Megan. And maybe she has a point. I, I think it's a fair criticism that perhaps Dr. Anthony Fauci may be underselling the vaccine. This is what David Pakman talks about as well. I think that's fine. That's a fair criticism to make. However, the issue is you can't say things like this. The fact that I, Megan McCain, co-host of The View, I don't know when or how I will be able to get the vaccine. You can't, you can't say things like that. Do you not understand the way that that comes across to people? I mean, what are you thinking? <laughs> oh my God. Like, I do want to be kind to her and give her credit in this instance because she is saying, like, she qualifies what she says here by saying, look, I don't want to jump the line. I want people who need it the most to get it. But I mean, you can't say things like that. You can't say the fact that I, Megan McCain... Someone who's really important and rich, uh, daughter of John McCain, if someone as important like me can't get the vaccine, the rollout must be terrible. And I'm trying to steel man her, but like, I don't think she truly realizes how narcissistic she sounds right here. It, it sounds like you're an entitled rich brat and you're mad that you can't have something soon enough. We all want the vaccine. We all want the vaccine. But right now, we can't get it, so we have to accept that. We can't, like, throw a tantrum on national television and say, look, I'm really fucking important. So if I can't get the vaccine, then public officials must be failing. Yes, Joe Biden perhaps could be doing more to get the vaccine out, but he's pretty competent in comparison with Donald Trump, wouldn't you say? I mean, he said, we'll get 100 million doses out, and it looks like we're on track to surpass that, and 100 million doses specifically within the first 100 days. So, I mean, sure, there, there's always room for improvement, but the way that you said that, Megan, makes you sound really bad, and you're basically highlighting an issue with elites in this country. They think that they're better than everyone else, and it's already an issue that members of Congress jumped the line. Every single member of Congress got access to the vaccine, including Republicans who were downplaying the severity of COVID-19. In Florida, the governor, Ron DeSantis, rolled out these pop-up vaccine sites in rich areas so that way elites can get vaccinated before other people who may need it more. And so what you're saying in the midst of this rant is that basically my life matters more than everyone else. Now again, she doesn't explicitly say this, but that's the implication, that's the subtext. Because uh, the fact that I, Megan McCain, co-host of the prestigious television show The View, which has millions of viewers, if I can't get the vaccine, then man, they must be fucking up. Maybe Dr. Anthony Fauci should be replaced. Like, really? How do you go from point A to point B? I, a very entitled rich person, can't get it, therefore Anthony Fauci can be, should be replaced because he's not telling me what I want to hear. She honestly said that Dr. Anthony Fauci doesn't understand the science and she wants to replace him with someone who does. Do you honestly think that he doesn't understand the science? Because Israel is saying one thing and he's saying something that isn't necessarily in line with what they're saying. Look, we don't have information. A new study uh, from Claylet Research in Israel did prove that the vaccine is in fact very effective. But we still don't know whether or not if you are fully vaccinated, you can transmit the virus to other folks. Preliminary data shows that you can't, but we still don't know. And on top of that, in Israel, they're not the best example because there is vaccine apartheid going on right now where they're not giving the vaccine even to first responders in Palestine. Although they did recently, they rolled out 5,000 shots. But I mean, they're not the best example. But I mean, like, I, I just, the things that she says here, it, it just... It proves what a spoiled brat she is. Like, she thinks that she's better than everyone else. And again, I'm pleased that she is publicly stating, I'm going to get the vaccine. I think it's really important. 
you know, if you call me at 3 a.m. in the morning, I will go anywhere to get it. I want to wait my turn, but this rollout has been a disaster. Like, that's fine. Like, you can make all of these criticisms. But when you start saying things like the fact that I, Megan McCain, co-host on The View, can't get it, that is where you really, like, you, you take the mask off of this disgusting system where elites, their lives are valued more than the peasants. And so I hope that she reflects like what she's saying is fine up until that point. Like you you can't just like you can't do that. Like basically she's carrying Dr. Anthony Fauci right now. And because she can't get the vaccine, she wants to speak to his manager because he's not telling her what she wants to hear. She wants to speak to his manager. But it doesn't work this way. Like it does it doesn't work that way. Like, I would rather him be realistic than tell me what I want to hear. Is there a very high likelihood that if we all get vaccinated, if enough people get vaccinated, things will go back to normal? Yes, obviously. But we can't say that right now. There's so many new variants. It's basically a race between the spread of the variants and vaccinating enough people. So there's so many factors to consider that I think that if Dr. Anthony Fauci actually did make a prediction, that would be somewhat reckless. And it would further deteriorate the trust in public health officials because we need him to be realistic with this timeline and say, look, I don't know. Because, if, look, if he says, I'll just put it this way. If he says by July, things are going to be back to normal and things aren't back to normal by July, people are going to lose confidence in him. So you don't just tell people what they want to hear. And you have to accept that. As someone like with a very large platform who reaches millions of people, I am appreciative of the fact that Meghan McCain wants the vaccine and is encouraging others to take the vaccine. The bar is really low. So, so I'll, I'll celebrate that fact. But you can't say things like this. You can't say, I'm Megan McCain, give me the vaccine. If I can't get it, that shows how bad the system is because I can't get it. Someone really important. You can't say shit like that. Or you can. But I mean, like you, you're, you're further proving to us why elites are terrible people and why we shouldn't have elites, why we shouldn't have a ruling class. My father, 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 my father